Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you some image editing techniques I use to get more looks out of the same piece of clothing. I have this field jacket which is part of the professional outfit collection I bought a long time ago and I discovered I own this today so I thought I would show you how I converted it to look like this. This is what we're going to try to get to again. So now I'll go ahead and get started and we'll go back to the red image. Just wanted to show you what we're trying to do in case you want to watch. We're going to be using my website, pixeldatabase.net. I've got this red jacket. I want to get the texture of it, so I'm going to launch this. This will open for me in paint.net. If you're rich, it might be Photoshop for you. And I'm just going to call this red. Save it as a PNG. Now we're going to go over here to my site, which is pixeldatabase.net. The first thing I want to do is get rid of most of the red. So to do that, I'm going to just say hide, sorry, red max diff is greater than zero. Total is less than, I'm sorry, total is greater than 200. And I'll explain that briefly before I run it. What that is, if I turn the color picker on, you can see red here is the maximum. So red minus the max is going to be zero. And greater than zero is a shortcut for greater than or equal to zero. So basically that just gives us the red. But there's one little caveat. See the button there? The total when I click on one of the buttons is quite a bit lower. Let me see if I can get one of the actual buttons. Yeah, the total is only like 197. You know, well, if I can get one of the buttons there. There, it's like 160. So I'm going to just say total greater than 200. So I get the parts that's, I want to leave the button there. And then the other thing I want to do, this should be about 840. Okay, 842. I'm going to say X less than 842, because we're going to do this at the end. So that gives us most of the red gone. Now for what's left, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change that to Y greater than 120. So that gets rid of all that stuff and it leaves this, so we're okay with that. Now for what's left, I want this to be a dark color. So I'm going to change this to update, set color, 12, 12, 12, where, okay. And now I want to do this up here, but this is going to be a different color. This is going to be about 80, 80, and 80. And this is going to be y is less than 120. And sorry if I'm going kind of fast, but I've got a lot to cover. I'm trying to get it done because I'm sleepy. Okay, so that gives us our little bit of an outline there. This I don't think even shows up, but we'll go ahead and continue on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what I want to do is change this to from less than 842 to greater than 842. We're going to do another hide query. We're going to get rid of the red. Red max diff greater than zero. But this one we're going to add min. Oops, those are both in the. That's not. Okay. Red max diff is greater than zero. Min max diff is greater than than five and I'll explain that briefly why it's needed first I'll take it off and show you if I take that off wait oh we don't need the Y okay so if I leave the min max diff this is the zipper by the way this right here is the zipper this is the buttons that I'm gonna get rid of so, but I just want to show you, I'm putting that min max diff for a second. Greater than five, because this is all gray. So this will not get hidden in that. Okay, 
So we end up with this. Now, what I want to do, I do want to get rid of this because this is those buttons I don't really like. So what I'm going to do for that is just change this to Y greater than 547. Okay. Now, the only thing I need to do next is to get this looking a little darker. So to do that, I'm going to just say update. Set grayscale min. That'll just be the minimum of each pixel. Where it's that range right there. And that is 329. Got it. Okay, that did not do it. Uh, why not? Why not? X greater Y. That's... That didn't do it. Hang on. Update. Set grayscale min where? Oh, that was supposed to be less than 329. That's why we didn't notice it because that was already a grayscale. Okay, there. That's what I wanted. Now, that's kind of dark, but that's not as dark as we need it to match this over here, which is in the 12 range. So we're going to just say set adjust all minus 20, what is that? 22, a 34. Okay, that's kind of got some gradient to us. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll just do that. Okay, that's darker. That's all I really wanted. Get it down to there. So we're going to download this. This is our shirt outline. So all we have to do now, we'll just call this shirt outline. All we have to do now is create a gradient. Update. Create. Now this is going to be our brown leather gradient. So we're just going to say set color. 50, 30, 20. And then the last two parameters are the X and Y. This image is 1024 by 1024. So the X is going to be 512 right in the center. And 1 is up at the top. The next color is just a little bit brighter than that. So I'm just going to add 12 to every one of these numbers. And then come down here. This will be in the middle at the bottom around in there. And I'll just hit apply. And that gives us our brown gradient. So I'm going to download that. And I'm just going to call this brown. So now I'm going to open this. I'm going to now open up our shirt outline. I'm going to hit control A followed by control C to select all and to copy. <clears throat> Excuse me, come over here to the brown gradient. I've got my layers window right here. If you don't have it visible, just toggle it right there. It's the third from the left. And I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to paste in our outline stuff and I'm going to save this. And we'll see what it looks like. And we'll just call this brown jacket. Okay. I got rid of these buttons right here, but I didn't really like it. It still kind of leaves that a little bit, but that looks okay. It's better than what it did before. I didn't really like it before. Our zipper turned out okay, I think. I mean, it's still there, at least. Let me know what you think. That was my short video, and it is now officially my birthday, so happy birthday to me. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.